Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to view and delete a newer feature at the time of this video called Your Off Facebook Activity. It's an opportunity for you to see how many websites and apps are tracking you, block them, clear them all if you want. So let's get started. We have a guide in the background. As always, you will see this link to in the video description. If you want to follow along with screenshots, I got six or seven down here. What we're going to do is we want to get to off Facebook activity. You can get that through settings, your Facebook information, off Facebook activity, or just click this link right here, which will open you right up to your activity, as you can see. So click on off Facebook activity, which you'll notice at first we thought it was kind of weird that there's a more options here and there was stuff hidden until we realized that really these first two are your primary and frankly, maybe manage your future activity. What I'm going to do in this video, it's in the guide though, is I'm gonna skip downloading your information that's covered in other guides and not relevant to what we're doing here. So let's start with managing your off Facebook activity. You can click on that. It may ask you to log in. And here you can see, for example, I have 423 apps and websites, quite a few. What you can do is manage them one at a time or just clear your history right here. You will be notified that you're gonna disconnect everything. So technically what you're doing is you're clearing your history, but if I go back to any of these apps I'm using, I can once again reconnect to Facebook. So that's probably the easiest way, keeping in mind that step two is just simply clear your history. So you might wanna look here first just to see how much stuff you have in here. And maybe you've got 20 or 30 and it's easy to just go like this. It tells you everything, interactions, you get all your details, but more importantly, if you're done with them, turn it off, and now you're disconnected. It's a little complicated, but yet easy, if that makes sense, because you can get, let me show you, you can get pretty complicated in here. One of the things I was mentioning I was probably avoid, accessing your information. What you're gonna get here is about 30 categories. Posts, photos, likes, followings, groups, messages, events, and you can click any one you want. And here's the other problem, subcategories. I almost forgot about that. So if you got, let's say posts, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if it's intentionally messy like this or it's just so much information that they have to do it this way. So if I've got 30 categories here and three to six categories per, you could have 90 different things to go through. So feel free, of course, like if you use Facebook lightly, this could be useful to you. So. There you go. So you, you you could actually come in here, come to your post, for example, go to your post and just clean stuff out. Hidden posts, you can manage it. Quite a bit going on in there. But again, it's not quite related to off Facebook. It is, but it isn't. So that's up to you. So again, let's stick to one, two, and then later on possibly manage future activity. Let me see where we're at. We covered that, that. We looked at the apps, we removed an app. We showed you all the information you can see. And of course, we showed you how to clear history. So there's access, download, and I'll manage future activities. Another one that's fairly interesting. Again, you'll have to expand, as we mentioned. And what I like about this is, if, uh, as I said, you're down to maybe five or 10 or 30 or 40 sites, you could shut everything off. You have tons, but now you're gonna have to reconnect to everybody again. And it'll warn you, same ads, which I really get a kick out of. So we're gonna disconnect you from everything, but we're, we're still really gonna watch everything you're doing. I'm confused. Activity you've turned off. You just saw me turn off this one here, Florida Traveler. Now I've changed my mind. All you gotta do is you can once again see about the activity which we saw. You're told it's turned off. Just click right here. And now you're back. So that's kind of a neat way to manage it if you don't have a ton of off Facebook activities it allows you to just stay logged into the sites you want and again clearing your history is no big deal just go ahead and do it you're just gonna have to log into a few sites again that's all so that's a new feature from Facebook that's supposed to be transparent about the information they're sharing who they're sharing it with and how you can sort of opt out that's a very very important distinction they will pretty much say in here that yeah we'll let you know what you can do and you can clear it but yeah we're still gonna kind of kind of tracky anyway so there you go so again just follow along with a guide if you like I'll embed the video in this guide as well 
uh, tutorial, whatever you'd like to call it, so that you can follow along with the pictures. You can actually follow along with the video as well, because I'll have it in here, as I said. And it gives you a good idea of the most important things you need to do. One, two, and maybe five. So I'll just keep that in mind as you go. Expand that, important, important, pretty important. All right, there you go. So easy enough to do unless you've got hours to kill and you know, so. Down the bottom corner, as always, is a logo to Major Geeks. You click on that, you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's always kind of cool. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.